What's up guys, Baker here. Episode 6 of the Community Montage. What's up guys? Uh, just got a text already, wow. Uh, what's up? Uh, I'm kind of all over the place, so uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, I left you off with the Vertigo thing. And uh, I haven't worked on the transition yet, but I thought of a cool transition really quick. Oh, I'm not about to get um, he nice right here. Super quick. So what I'm going to do is get a linear wipe transition onto the game winning kill. And let's see how it should go. I think it goes the other way. Negative 90. <coughs> see, I'm just experimenting here. Yeah, there we go. wait. Should be going the other way. Uh, whoa. Like, what the heck am I even thinking right now? Is it this way? Negative 90 again? What the hell am I doing? Oh, there we go. Okay. So he's knifing, right? Right here. So I'll set a keyframe for uh, all the way over this way, 100. And move forward a little bit and put it back down to zero so it wipes this way. And I'll finish that when he's finished knifing. So maybe, uh, let's see here, speed this up a couple frames, it's like, kind of knifing and then feather it a little bit. I mean, it's going to be so fast, like, you won't even really notice it, but, uh, just wanted to see if this will work kind of nicely. Too subtle, too fast, but whatever. Um... Uh, really quick, I want to do a little flashing thing to the music automated, and uh, you should check out my tutorial if you don't know anything about this next thing I'm going to do. So, I'm going to go ahead and highlight the entire, I'm going to close this really quick, it's pretty laggy, highlight the entire uh, part that you want to have music and stuff, and solo the audio, so uh, all the other audios aren't playing right now. And uh, I'll do this twice. So let's see, keyframe assistant convert audio to keyframes. So that one is just the regular sound with no modifications. So I'll call this uh, audio op amplitude norm. And then I'll go to dirty disco again and get some bass and treble in here. Maybe boost up the bass, treble down to negative 100. And uh, do it again. And uh, you'll see why I'm doing this. I want to try to get, take a look and see which one would be the best to uh, have it mapped out. So I'll call this one base. And actually, I might just do it one more time and get the treble only. So boost that up. And again, if you don't know what I'm doing right now, go ahead and check out my, uh, what do I call it? Audio synced flashing. That's what I'm going to be doing here. And uh, you can also do it to like scale or whatever. It just depends on how you uh, set the linear map and all that stuff. But, uh, oops. Audio. Okay. So let's just take a look. Here's the norm. Push U. Delete the left channel. Delete the right channel. Slider. And hit the graph editor. So. Looks like not too uh, not too distinct. Hmm. Interesting. How about the base? Left channel, right channel, slider. Kind of same thing. Let's see if I zoom in here. Yeah, that might work, but this one's the high end, the treble. I know I want to at least do it on the this one transition part, but uh, I guess I'll just do it for, I don't even know, <laughs> to be honest. Let's see, slider. Hmm. I'll do the base, so I'll go ahead and just delete these. So we're going to map this. Yeah, my time's gone. Okay. Linear value. Hmm. I don't even know. Just can't even like see. What the heck? Let's get that in. 
Okay, so that's about 10, about 20. 20 should be good. Maybe a little higher than that, 25. Highest, I'll put it in 55. And 0, 100. Boom! All right, close that. Okay, I'll make a new uh, adjustment layer for the entire comp. And just like last time, I'll be using levels. And I'm gonna up right a little bit. And T for opacity, link it to the slider. So what that will do is every time there's base and stuff, it'll get bright. Let's just see if we can notice it somewhere. So let me just uh, check this out. Skip no frames. And I see a little bit of flashing going on, very subtle. That's kind of what I want. I don't want it to be like too overpowering, you know? But, uh, got my Gatorade G2 right here. Because, <sighs> uh, you know, when you do uh, video editing, it's always good to stay hydrated. You know, especially when you're an, an athlete who does motion graphics. Uh, and if you uh, recognize that joke, uh, like, good for you. But, uh, let's just see really quick. <laughs> That'll be good. Okay. Um, that's good for now. Uh, what else do I want to do? I think I just wanted to like try to work on the little intros kind of thing. So I'm gonna make a new comp for that. And uh, when's when's the big bass drop? The first one. It's on here. So check this check this intro bass thing. It's I think it's pretty sick. <sighs> You'll see what I'm gonna do. But uh. So how's it going guys? And stuff. I'm gonna have some text right here and some little 2D intros. And then right here, it's going boom! Sick. Alright, so that's about from here to about so that's 13 seconds to uh, so about 12 seconds. 12 13 seconds. So I'm gonna make that about 12 13 seconds. I'll call this uh, intro text in stuff. Cool. So I'm going. What I'm thinking about doing is gonna have a, a camera. Should make this kind of tiny, like 24. Come Yeah, yeah. Okay, whatever. Uh, probably make a null object. Parent the camera to the null. Make sure the null is 3D. And um. Just bring in some 2D intros in here. Hmm. Got some sound effects and 2D intros. So I don't know which ones are really good or not, but I'll just bring out a bunch of random ones. Uh, Cod Hut maybe. Dare Sniping, Devastation Cinema. Uh, I don't even know all these people. Phase Clan, Flatline, who? What's a Flatline editing? Hazard? What's that? The, what? I don't know, I'm just putting random ones in here. Uh, I'll put more in there later, but what I'm going to try to do is, uh, let's see here. Just kind of position these in 3D space. <coughs> ah. Boom. I'll make all these 3D, by the way. Position. And just kind of, you know, move it. Oh, set the transfer mode to screen. Okay. Screen look cool. Kind of move these over, put them in 3D space, make them, you know, fly around and stuff, and put it up there. And uh, actually, what I'm going to do first is take the null object and uh, keyframe the position, move forward near the end, and then just, I don't know, bring it. I can't remember if that's forward or backwards. Let's see. Yeah, it's moving forward. That's kind of what I want. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. Um, what I think I need to do is take all these and uh, stretch them a little bit. Time stretch to 300%. Six seconds long. 
Yeah. But, uh, so I'll just kind of move these over in 3D space. We got, you know, hazard flying up on here. And, uh, I'll just, I don't know, move these around, move this one down, this one a little bit back, just a little bit forward. This one could be really far back. Left, down there. There. And then my main text is just going to be right in the middle once I get all these out of the way. So it could be really far back or something. And then up high. You just want to kind of give it like a, a parallax look where you can kind of see like relative distances from each other. So you can kind of see they're like floating, uh, etc. But uh, what I'm going to do for this, too, is uh, turn on depth of field. That would be cool. So push AA for the camera. And depth of field on. We'll just turn this up to 100 and 100%. And maybe even 200%. Those things, things to be really out of focus. And it does make it a little bit slower, but, you know, it shouldn't be that bad. And uh, I might have a little bit of particles flying around, but uh, for now, that, that's all right. And I'll temporarily shut off the depth of field. And uh, move this up. Get these out of the way. Um, let's see, what should my text be? Uh, Baker something. Hmm. Probably just uh, fix this later once I figure out what I want to say, but I'm just going to show you what's up. Baker presents, and uh, let me just show all this so I can kind of work on this. Um, what I'm gonna do is why does that look off center to me? Does that look off center to you? I don't know, like this. Actually, maybe not. Okay, whatever. So I'll make this one uh, a little tiny bit bolder. Make this one bigger so it kind of matches. Size, bring this stand right there. A little bit of formatting stuff, you know. Uh. All right, uh, make that 3D. And position needs to be right in the middle. So I think that was like 640, 360. All right, uh, maybe just move it down just a little bit. So cool. So what's going to happen is we're going to have all this stuff, right? I'm just going to say Baker Presents. Actually, I'll scale this down as well. Uh, 40%. Yeah, I'll try to move this stuff out of the way, but I'm just kind of uh, doing that and stuff. You know what I mean? Make presents. And I'll have it like fade out. Uh, make these maybe a little bit uh, longer. So where's time? Time, time stretch. So if that's 300, let's do 600. <coughs> just long enough. You know what I'm saying? Do you know what I'm saying? Okay. Baker presents. Um, and then I'll have that fade out, so I'll just kind of cut that around. And then I'll duplicate it. Slide that over. And this text will say... Uh, like, community montage again? I don't, I don't even know. Time we're done already? I just started! Wow. Sorry about that, guys. I uh, didn't really get to do much in this tutorial, but, you know, this is going to take a while. But I'm trying to go through it fast. Uh, I guess I'll work on it a little bit while I'm not recording because uh, some of you really want to see this already. And uh, I'm actually, as far as editing as, I've, as I'm recording, so today is Monday. And this is probably going to go up on Tuesday, so what you're seeing is pretty much where I'm at. So again, here's some buttons and all that good stuff, blah, 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 like the video, I love you. Uh, leave a comment, some feedback, all that good stuff, and see you next time. Peace! <gasps>